So after 50 years, remains of a missing Idaho teen have been identified on an Oregon coast. The Cooks County Sheriff's Department was able to put a rest on a cold case missing person report, identifying remains and giving closure to family members 50 years later. In 1971, Winston Arthur Maxey III left his home in Boise, Idaho at the age of 15. After talking with a friend, that uh, learning that uh, there was job opportunities in Oregon. So he made up a, a plan to hitchhike to the Oregon coast. He told his sister he was going to Coos Bay and in the spring of 1971, 15 year old Winston left home and off to Oregon he went. So um, family members never heard from him again and they weren't even sure if he ever arrived safely. So um, in July of 1971, an unidentified deceased juvenile male was reported to the Coos County Sheriff's Office in Inglewood area of Sneedon Creek and Coos Bay. I probably said that wrong. It's probably Sneedon Creek. So I probably butchered that name. But um, and the investigators tracked down all leads available at the time, canvassing neighborhoods, asking the public to help, trying to build a timeline, you know, all the uh, standard procedure stuff. And um, due to the limiting you know, limited technology and the condition of the deceased, uh, the state medical examiner was unable to determine and identify the cause of death. So, um, even up until today, even though they, they were able to identify who he was, they still don't know the cause of death or if foul play was involved, meaning whether, um, someone was responsible for his death of a teenage hitchhiker identified 50 years after his body was found in Coos Bay. And investigators finally have an answer to this decades-old mystery. And Jenny, you found out he had a daughter who had been searching for her father almost her entire life. Since she was 18 years old, and we're going to get to that, but I talked to the Coos County Sheriff, and they say they don't know how he died. This is a 50-year-old case. They don't think foul play was involved, but they're also not ruling that out. In spring of 1971, 15-year-old Winston Arthur Maxey III left his home in Boise, Idaho with a plan to hitchhike to the Oregon coast. He'd heard there were job opportunities in Coos Bay. He told his sister he was leaving and, and headed out the door. So basically the family never heard from him again. What Winston did when he arrived in Coos Bay is still a mystery. Captain Gabe Fabrizio with the Coos County Sheriff's Office says the young man's time there was short-lived. Coos County Sheriff's Office got a report of a, a body, basically a deceased person in a body of water. Can't figure out who he is. Classify him as, as John Doe and they, they buried him in a, in a cemetery locally. Fast forward 46 years. Fabrizio says in 2017, the sheriff's office exhumed the body and with the help of some grant money, paid to get a DNA profile of the remains. This past July, detectives found out the DNA matched a profile on a genealogy and ancestry website. They figured out that that family had a missing person. The sister agreed to give a DNA example to do a cross section match to make sure that it was him. It's unclear if Winston's family ever reported him missing half a century ago, but one person who was determined to find him, his daughter. Detectives say before leaving Idaho, Winston unknowingly fathered a child. The baby was given up for adoption. We learned she spent her entire adult life searching for her biological father. 32 years after hiring the PI to try to find her biological parents, we're able to come back and say, this is actually your father that was here so you know it would have been much better news if it was he's alive and healthy and, and happy but at least it provided some closure so that was a clip from koin channel 6 news they're an affiliate of cbs news i will leave a link in the description to that um to my sources anyway so you guys can check out that story if you want there should be a video on that page and so you know the story has a bittersweet ending I just wish I would have known of this story sooner and I definitely would have made a video on this. But I'm glad that there's at least some type of closure and hopefully things get better for the daughter 
of this individual. And at least we know what happened to um, Winston Maxey the third. So rest in peace. And my condolences to friends and family. At least now you have some closure. Tony Dark out. I'll catch you guys on the next video.